The energy that you had in the body at sixteen, you will not have it at thirty. If you just invest in your body, as you age without knowing what's happening, you have to invest in other things, then you will see you can be whatever age and still be vibrantly energetic. Did you fall in love with your neighborhood girl any time? <laughs> no? Okay. Suppose you are sixteen years of age and there's a very pretty girl in the next door. Do you have to focus on her? <laughs> Do you need commitment? No, you have interest. So you're committed, you're focused, you're every damn thing, you're freaked. <laughs> so you need some interest <laughs> If you get interested in something, everything in you gets focused on that thing, isn't it? Whatever that thing is. But most people do not know how to find any interest in life unless they're hormone-fired. This is like <clears throat> this is an evolutionary issue. See, every other creature is only interested in that which is either its survival or its reproductive. That's about it, it's not interested in anything else. A bird, an animal, a monkey, what are they interested in? something to eat or maybe mating. Beyond that, they have no other interest because these two things are chemically fired. Hunger is chemically fired, hormones are chemistry. So this is a certain level of existence. Animal existence is like that. You cannot blame them, that's how they are. But for you, a certain evolution happened. Not a small amount, not a small amount of evolution. Though today scientists say between you and a chimpanzee, the DNA difference is only 1.23 percent. But 1.23 percent of what? What they're talking about is from an amoeba to a chimpanzee. If it is ninety-eight point seven seven percent, you are one point three percent more. That's not a small thing. I don't really know how they calculate this one point two three percent, but when you look at some people, it looks like very real. <laughs> But when you look at some other people, you cannot believe, you cannot believe that human beings were apes. Yes, there's a lot of argument about it, it cannot be. Both look like that. But anyway, it's a small difference but a huge difference. So if you allow this 1.23 percent to operate within you, you will see you are not chemically fired towards what you want and what you don't want. Why in every spiritual process anywhere in the world, one thing that seems to be commonly there is not because we are against food, some amount of denial of food simply because we don't want to be chemically ruled. Brahmacharya, staying away from food is not because we want to deny something, we don't want to fall into that category that we become an animal, that we are everything that we want is chemically fired. We want what we want consciously, without the influence of our chemistry. This is why certain days of the month not eating, this is why many other practices, fundamentally we don't want to fall into the animal category because animal category means not something bad, 
it is just a complete compulsive cyclical process. Now we are looking at <laughs> mukti, liberation. If you are in a cyclical process that you're going around in circles, there's no question of any liberation, isn't it? A circle is a trap. Yes or no? Hmm? Is a circle a trap? Yes. If we make the circle large enough, most people won't know they're going in a circle. They keep going round and round and thinking they're going somewhere. That is what going in circles means. That means you're not getting anywhere. We know if our longings and our focus and our direction of life is chemically fired, either by hunger or hormones, we know that we will not get anywhere. This we figured out. Because of that, we are seeing how we create an interest and a focus and an involvement in something which is not chemically fired desire. If you have to engage people like this or if you have to engage yourself like this, you need uh, some octane going within you. If there is no enough energy, you cannot do this because focus takes energy. If you want to focus on something, what you need is not some concentration camp mind, you need energy. With age, energy comes down a bit. If your identity just remains physical, the energy that you had in the body at sixteen, you will not have it at thirty. You have to invest in your intellect, your intelligence, your consciousness, then only you can remain energetic. If you just invest in your body, as you age without knowing what's happening, no, I'm doing this because this will also go. <laughs> It'll all happen to you. Unless you invest in other aspects, if you just invest in the body, as the physical energy recedes, you will see you lose shape and form and become like that. You have to invest in other things which does not need physical support. Then you will see you can be whatever age and still be vibrantly energetic, because your energy is not of the body. If you invest in something else, whatever your age, you will remain energetic. So, you must develop some interest in the yoga. Then you don't have to focus, you will be focused.